hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel today we'll be making a petal sleeves or a tulip sleeve and it's easy to make and it's beginners friendly so we'll be needing our fabric i'm using this african print i'm just using it for illustration and i'm using this for the lining but i'll advise you to use the same fabric for the lining and I'm using hard interfacing, that's our hard gum stain and also our pattern paper. I'll be drafting it on the paper first before cutting it on the fabric. So if you are interested to learn how to make these beautiful sleeves, then let's get the video started. So I have folded my pattern paper in half and to know the amount of fabric Let's say we are cutting this on the fabric. Let's assume the paper is the uh, fabric. So you'll be folding with half of your round armhole measurement. So the measurement I'm using for my armhole is 19 inches divided by two is nine and a half. So I folded nine and a half exact. So on the upper side of the sleeve, I'll be coming down by four inches. You can come down by three inches or four inches. And this four inches line is going to be my starting line. The petal slip is going to have gathers on the top. You can choose to leave three inches or four inches for the gather, depending on how full you want the gathers to be. So this four inches line I marked is going to be my starting line. So first I will be marking the length of the sleeves. So I'm using eight inches plus one inch for hemming. So this is the sleeve length together with the sewing allowance. So on this four inches line, I'm going to go in a little bit about two inches to get my cuff for the armhole. You can mark it with your curve ruler, but I'm trying to mark it with my free hand. So this is it. And around the sleeve is 60 inches divided by two is eight inches. So I mark eight inches here. It depends if you want the sleeve to be wider, you can make it 10 inches, nine inches. But in this case, I'm making it eight and a half inches 8 inches for the half of the round sleeve measurement plus half an inch for the sewing on the side. So this is it. So next, now coming to the upper side, I'm going to draw the curve from here. So it depends on if you want the goddess on the upper side of the sleeve should be full. You can take it up up to 5 inches, 6 inches. It depends on how puffy you want the upper side of the sleeve to be. So now I'll be connecting from here to this point. So this is it. It's simple, very simple. So now I'll cut it out. So guys, you see, when I open it, this is how I look. So now we are going to draw the petal shape. This is the midpoint of the sleeve. On this midpoint, I'll be coming down by nine and a half inches. If you want the top part of the sleeve to be more open, you can come down by eight, seven inches. But I think nine and a half inches is okay. So I mark nine and a half inches here. So on the shoulder part of the sleeve, I'll be measuring five inches. Let me notch it so that it will not confuse you. So from this midpoint, I came down five inches. Depend on how overlap you want your sleeve to be. So from the center on the tip of the sleeve, I came down nine and a half inches. So from this down part in the center of the sleeve, I'm going to mark four inches. You can mark three and a half inches, four inches. You can even take it all the way here. This is how we are going to curve the sleeve. 
so I'm going to give it a curve from this point that I mark 5 inches I'm going to connect it to the 9.5 inches in the center of the sleeve and then bring it down to 4 inches that I mark at the hem of the sleeve so I'm going to connect it with a curve so guys you see it's simple this is all this line you can still choose to curve it up to the tip here depending on how you want the down part of the sleeve to be so this is all so i'm going to cut it out so we don't need this part again we are going to work the big part so you see so i'll be cutting four pieces of this two for the main sleeve and then two for the lining so I'll be using this fabric, this African print, to cut the sleeve. Place it on it. I'm sewing for only one sleeve. If you want to sew for both of your sleeves, you have to use eight pieces, four pieces for each sleeve. So now I'm I'm making only for one sleeve. I'm using four pieces. If it's for two sleeves you use eight pieces, four pieces for each so I'll be cutting it up so I'm done cutting the sleeves these two pieces are the main sleeve and two pieces for the lining I'm using the shining face satin and then I went ahead and cut hard interfacing which gives the sleeves that structure to stand well so the next thing to do now is to iron the interfacing on the lining. Only the lining, I will iron the interfacing. I will not add interfacing to the main sleeve at all. So this is it. This is how it's going to be. You see the notches will align with each other like this. Our petal sleeve is coming out well. You see how beautiful it is. So. I'll be ironing the interfacing on the lining and come back and show you the next step. Now that I'm done ironing the interfacing, as you can see, now I'm going to be joining the lining and then I'm going to be joining the lining separately and also the main sleeve separately because I want to have a neat finishing of the seam line. So I'll put right face facing the right face of the main sleeve and then take it to my machine and join with half an inch here on the side line and I'll be doing the same thing to the lining this is the side of the sleeve so I'll be putting it together the good side facing the good side and I'll stitch it with half an inch and then come back and show you the next step so guys this is how I look after joining it this is how I look this is the lining and then this is the main sleeve. So the next thing to do now is to place the right side of the lining facing the right side of the main sleeve like this. See that because of this joining on the side, after turning it inside out, you see that all these rough edges will be hidden inside. So the next thing is to pin down the sleeve. This is the hem of the sleeve. After sewing it, I'll turn it inside out, top stitch it, and come and show you. So guys, this is how I look after sewing the lining to the main sleeve. And I went ahead and top stitch on the lining, not on the main sleeve, on the lining. So the next thing to do now is to go and attach the lining and the main fabric to hold them together. And come back and show you. So guys, this is our sleeve, our sleeve is almost done, so the next thing to do now is to bring the notches together on the top of the sleeve. So what you are going to do to get your overlap is to cross it like this, bring this this way, like this, and match the notches together, and pin. You can see our sleeve is almost ready. So the next thing is to go and pleat the top to get that beautiful look. 
so i'm just going to do that and come and show you guys the finishing look so guys our sleeve is ready see how beautiful it look look how neat the inside looks you see see the pleats on the shoulder very beautiful sleeve so guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial if you find this tutorial helpful please like comment and share my videos and also subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and see you guys in my next video bye thank you for watching